Well, system engineering is fundamentally a, a, a problem-solving approach. If you come and do our problem-solving course, you'll get the, pretty much the same philosophy. It's how to take a blank sheet of paper and turn it into a thing at the other end, and quite often a very complex thing. So it's a, how to do that from, a, from a, say, a blank sheet to the final product and, and the life cycle of that product, not just delivering it, but also then bringing it through service and then ultimately retiring it at the other end. System engineering has that value in that, that what it does is hold a project together and, and as I say the most important thing about system engineering is to get it right first up because if an engineer is doing work at the end of a project good engineering can't fix bad requirements and, and so the requirements have to be set in concrete properly at the outset and that's part of the system engineering approach. It's no good having requirements that we can't engineer nor can we use in service, nor can we support, nor can we retire. So system engineering is about embracing all of that and providing a solution to the complex problem right through its life cycle. System engineering is, is something that applies to all projects across all disciplines. And what, if you want to see the application of it or, or the value of it, go and look at the requirements engineering phase, the start of the actual system engineering process. Because if projects fail, largely the failure will have come from that point. And so system engineering has its biggest value at, at that early stages to set up the project and then manage the project correctly throughout its life. Well, while system engineering is very important and it's been around for 50 years or so, it's actually not very well practiced and it's not very well understood. So the idea of the MOOC is to be able to bring an awareness of, of system engineering and why it's so important to projects to, to a much, much broader, broader community than we can in our undergraduate and our postgraduate education, for example.